no, I think it was June 23rd, you wrote a letter to BP, one of many letters you've, you've written to BP that they haven't really responded to. This one, you were asking for detailed information about the well bore, about the, the, what they knew about uh, the, the sea floor, uh, about you know, the status of it. That information is obviously crucially important now. Have they, and, and yesterday you were saying, look, they haven't responded. Have they responded all over the last 24 hours? They have not responded. And again, I wrote back there on um, June 23rd so that uh, we could publicly disclose uh, what the integrity of the well bore is. We could publicly disclose what the integrity of the geology uh, around the well bore so that we could better understand. And, and explain why that's so important. Well, it, it's important because uh, this is a lot like uh, somebody out in the backyard uh, putting their hand on top of the hose as the water is coming out. It's going to now put a lot of pressure on the rest of the hose. Uh, and what we need to know is how strong is the pipe? Can it withstand that extra pressure as the oil is now backed up? Can the soil, can the rock, can the uh, sediment around the well withstand the additional pressure? Uh, and so all of this is key information, which is why I believe the federal government has been wise in ensuring that BP uh, move much more slowly uh, than they had intended on uh, uh, doing. The BP really has wanted to shut down this well as quickly as possible, although their incompetence has made it impossible for them to achieve that goal. But recently they've wanted to move more quickly, and the federal government, uh, led by Admiral Allen, uh, has forced them to slow down uh, so that we don't take something and make the cure actually worse than the disease uh, by having this pipe or the rock formation around uh, this uh, well uh, actually now spring leaks and make the problem even worse than it is now.